Uh, TCU is part of an, uh, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey International Collaboration, which is over 300 astronomers. Um, we have TCU graduate students and undergraduate students working on uh, Sloan research. So Sloan provides an opportunity, um, one of a few we have at TCU to get students hand-on experience in astronomy um, at uh, research level. Uh, this is involved in PhD research as well as undergraduate research. Um, it provides a great resource for us that's world class. This is all part of the Apogee project. So we use this telescope to take images of stars. Uh, it's a large scale survey, so we're hoping to cover a lot of the sky, most of the northern hemisphere, pretty much everything we can see throughout the year. Those petals on the outside of the telescope will open up. Those are actually mirror protectors. And it's kind of a signature of the SS SDSS-3 telescope, or the Sun telescope, is the petal cover. bottom side gets mounted into the telescope. So the light hits the bottom end of the fiber, goes in through these fiber optics, so each object is a fiber optic, and they meet here. And then there's, at the telescope, there's what's known as a gain connector. So this actually feeds the light into the spectrograph, which is where we can actually split the light up and do uh, measuring the speeds of stars and the chemical abundances. So by mapping out the galaxy, we can tell distances, we can tell how fast the stars are moving, and we can tell what they're made of. And so by doing that, we can kind of map the evolution of the galaxy, how it got built up, where stars were formed, where they may have migrated to, and that's the kind of the end goal, is to kind of determine how the Milky Way was born.